Good morning. Uh, my name is John Parkinson. Uh, welcome to the uh, WordPress TV uh, interview series. Uh, with me today is Adam Warner, and we are at the second day of uh, uh, WordCamp uh, NEO Northeast Ohio. Uh, and Adam, I appreciate you uh, taking time out of your busy day to uh, uh, talk with me. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, it's my pleasure, John. Uh, uh, my name is Adam Warner. I currently work for SiteLock uh, Website Security based in Arizona. Uh, I am based in Florida. I am oh, nice. a longtime WordPress community member. I found WordPress in 2005. And uh, once I started learning more about it, I started a few WordPress tutorial sites, all the while working regular day jobs. And uh, through the years, one thing led to another. Great. And i uh, been just a longtime community evangelist, uh, yep. which just happens to be my job title. Now. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Uh, have you been involved in different parts of the uh, WordPress community? Uh, yes and no. Um, when I first discovered WordPress, first started learning about it, I started developing some themes and then I started, uh, well, designing, developing themes and mm -hmm. I tried to develop plugins and realized that I was neither a developer or <laughs> a designer uh, and I was very happy that uh, Tom McFarland a few years ago coined the term implementer. Oh, uh, okay. Because okay. I, I pay attention to the community, I communicate with people there, uh, I help on the forums, uh, and I now know which pieces to put together to, to, Fantastic. to get to the end. Fantastic. I like to tell people that very quickly uh, that I'm a user. Mm -hmm. uh, by no stretch of the imagination am I a developer or designer. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, uh, we're at WordCamp uh, Northeast Ohio, as I mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, can you tell us about some of the WordCamps you have attended and are maybe planning to attend uh, throughout the, the rest of the year? Sure, yeah. Uh, the previous to the last three months, the most recent WordPress uh, uh, WordCamp I attended was in Orlando, and that was the only one I attended in the past four years. Previous to that, it was WordCamp Miami and a whole bunch of other ones. Um, I have a four-year-old, two-year-old boys, so I was home taking care of them uh, primarily. And then um, in the last three months, I've been to Portland, Maine, oh, WordCamp yeah. Portland, WordCamp Asheville last week, and now uh, WordCamp Neo. Nice. Uh, so each one is a, a different yes. uh, feel, a different take, uh, but the one constant is the community. Absolutely. And, and that's Absolutely. what I love. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, always nice to catch up with people that you have met previously and meet new people it's, like it's, we just met. It's very nice to put a, an actual face to an avatar. Yes, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, uh, could you give uh, me your views on WordPress TV? Sure, yeah. Uh, being a longtime member, I was very aware of WordPress TV years ago. I submitted video interviews and things, uh, tried to help out there, and then it kind of uh, fell off the radar for mm -hmm. me. Uh, and now in just the last year or two, I know that uh, WordCamp uh, sessions have been being uploaded and I know there's probably a huge uh, backlog of that. I know it takes a little bit of time to get those up. So I'm very excited that WordPress TV seems to have regained some steam. Yes. And I think it's a great resource to send people to. Yes. Especially, uh, well, all users, new users, new people to WordPress, new people to WordCamps, uh, developers, designers, implementers, yeah. uh, whoever it is. So I, I'm very excited to see uh, to see it come back to life. Oh, great, great. Uh, one thing I'll, I've been throwing out here in the last uh, couple months, uh, it, it's been uh, blogged uh, that there were 89 WordCamps last year. Uh, not quite evenly split between U.S. and uh, non-U.S. Uh, uh, camps, mm -hmm. uh, but overall uh, there was 1,377 uh, videos published, not just submitted, published mm -hmm. to WordPress TV, yeah. and that has is about a 50% increase over the last two years. That's great news. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good news for us. Uh, more work, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we can deal with that. Well, you know, the interesting part about that, I don't want to take too much no, time please, here, but uh, please. Uh, and Chris Lemo was talking in his talk today, um, and he's always, of course, a great speaker, but he was talking about how things change and how they will continue to change, and there's just no way around that. Uh, and, but the important of documenting and writing things down so you remember it so you become smarter but also to share freely yes so it got me thinking about WordPress TV and all of that content and all of that knowledge will hopefully be preserved for decades to come yes. uh, for just simply historical purposes absolutely. Right? absolutely so that's that's very exciting to me I'm I'm my family's um, uh, 
um, archiver, or at least I, I used to be, and I intend to do that again. Uh -huh. uh, so that kind of thing is very important to me. Yes, great, great. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, just that I'm looking forward to many more WordCamps this year, uh, reaching out into the community, listening to the needs of users, and uh, making sure that SiteLock can um, continue to, to uh, serve the security needs of uh, everybody. Fantastic. Involved. Great. I appreciate your time. Thanks, and John. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Great.